If you haven't realized, you actually don't make money from the share market. What you do is you get money from the share market because share market is just a pie, a cake of wealth, right? What you're doing is I want to go in and I want to get a piece for myself. But what makes you think you're going to go in and get a piece for yourself rather than go in and donate a piece to others? A lot of people will be fighting to make money against each other. When you buy, somebody is selling. When you sell, somebody is buying. Both things, they are right. So what makes you think you can win? And I'm not just talking about share market, talking investment as a whole, it's like that. Generally, right, the market goes up, investment goes up. But if you want to beat the market, get abnormal return, make a lot of money from stocks or investment, you need to have an edge. But if I look at the way most people invest, you look at 2013, during the property bull run, everybody see, ah, Anyone that buy property make money. Year 2008, 9, 10, 11. If you bought properties back then, you would have made so much money. So people in year 2013, 14 or so, they want to try their hand. Right? Or if they made money with one property, now they buy three, four, five, leverage as much as they can. And what happened now? I know a few millionaires that went bankrupt, you know, because they couldn't even sell their property. Now, even auction also nobody want to buy. And their lot is negative cash flow, almost bankrupt, struggling just to pay the property. Last year, a lot of stocks, a lot of people made money initially, buying a little bit as water buy it be make money or, and see their friends buy the water make even more hundreds of thousands i cannot edit all in at the top now a lot of people getting stuck nervous worried don't know what to do and do you notice the pattern between these two the pattern is you start by testing a little bit try your luck then after that as it goes up become really pumping even more then when it goes down right sad by right, disbelief want to find things to you know make yourself calm emotional and you want to get up because you're fearful man. you want to get out before you lose more and this behavior is the behavior that you will repeat it's a pattern when you look at it it's not that property is not good or stocks is not good there are still people making money because now stocks is still up generally it's still easy to make money in stocks and there are still people making money in properties even though they bought in 2015, 16, 17. What's the difference? The difference is these are the pro. Professional means they are not buying based on emotion. They buy based on analysis, calculation, doing their homework research. But most importantly, they have a plan and they stick to the plan. And before they buy, they have a logical checklist. Whether you're a new investor or you're thinking to get in or you're stuck already, you're not performing so well. The reason you're not doing so well or the reason you're fearful, not confident enough to invest, is it because you don't have a proper checklist that if I do A, B, C, D, my chances of making money is very high. And if it doesn't make money for me, what is my plan B, right? What can I do? All these professional people have it. And if you don't have it, you're simply buying based on emotion chase when it's high sell when it's low how do you expect to make money from investment even if you make is it luck right how do you make sure you can consistently do it so if you want to get your investment right your money right in year 2021 the most important thing you need to do is now make sure your investment has a system as a checklist to figure out okay this investment this stock okay i know about this stock let me study it how to study it after i study it is it suitable for long term or short term what's the strategy to play so i go in all at once a little bit a little bit if you drop further what should I do? If it's short term, do I look at the chart? If it's long term, what are the metrics indicator that I look at to determine whether my investment is doing well? Should I cut loss? Should I add more? So you need to have that system and checklist. And when you have that, I'll call it a peaceful investing. Because whatever happened, already thought of. Share price go up, good, make money, share price drop. Already got a plan. There are plans already, so you will no longer be worried or nervous. And chances are, when you do it, not only you'll be more happy and peaceful, but your investment result will improve dramatically and you get consistent results. So I hope this video helps you, gives you an idea. So if you want to learn what is this checklist on investing specifically on stocks, I've got a good news for you. I'll be conducting a two hours webinar for you, free of charge. And in this webinar, I'll share with you what is my checklist. When you give me a stock, what is the first thing I look at? How do I analyze it? How do I determine whether it's suitable for long term or short term? What's my strategy to enter step by step or all in at once? And when do I sell? Because sometimes you buy a stock at a low price, you go up, you're very happy. Then after that, it drop, drop, drop. And you don't want to let go because you want it to go up further, but it dropped below your entry price go from profit to loss. So that's very sad. Even when the market is flat, I'm still able to make 20 to 30,000 ringgit consistently profit from stocks. So if you want to learn how, you need to have this checklist, you need to attend the training. Once again, my name is Ming Teck. 
I hope this video let you understand the importance of having a checklist and to follow it and not to follow your emotion when it comes to investing. Hope to see you at my live training. Bye.